2400 species of mantid. You may know most of them look like this. But what if I told you that there exist more colorful and bizarre varieties? I have surfed through many catalogs to present to you the most bizarre mantids. And I myself never knew of their existence until very recently. At number four, we have the ghost mantis. Well named indeed. Look at this thing. The reason that this African mantis species is named is due to its striking resemblance to a dried leaf, complete with textures of veins and ridges. It sure blends in, just like a ghost, raptorial legs ready to strike prey at any moment. It is quite small though, just around 5 cm long. There are three species within its genus, Philocrania. Let's move on. My favorite insect, the orchid mantis. It's more well known than the others. Its combination of white, pink and purple mimics the look of orchid flowers, its hunting ground. This form of mimicry is known as aggressive mimicry. Pollinators are attracted to the orchids, unaware of the threat that lurks there. What camouflage is better than looking like something else? Looking like everything else. At just 2.5 centimeters long, the glass mantis accomplishes this. Love these names, by the way. They range from translucent green to pale in coloration with pink spots. They are native to Southeast Asia and little is known about them. But have you seen such coloration or lack thereof? Anyways, why do mantises camouflage? Because they need to conceal themselves from predators and their prey. This video explains that process in full detail. But if they should hide themselves, why the hell does number one exist? You have never seen such a thing. This might end up becoming your favorite insect. Meet the iridescent mantis, Metallicus splendidus. Wow. Males are a rich indigo with females being iridescent green, with wings a gradient of red and fiery orange. Why does this even stand out? Unlike other mantises, the iridescent mantis is not an ambush hunter. It pursues its prey, termites, flies and roaches. It is a bark mantis, concealing itself underneath pieces of tree bark. Why these colors? We are not too sure. But this is certainly not camouflage as no bark looks like this. I hope this video intrigued you. I'd appreciate it if you could share this video and subscribe so I can know if you want to see more of such content. This is ABSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.